39 year old Rene Enriquez Jr. was found in a gruesome manner. Somebody had sent him to the upper room in Las Vegas. That name rings a bell? It should. He's the only son of Rene Boxer Enriquez. So let's talk about that. So Rene Enriquez Jr. was found in gruesome fashion, like I said, in Las Vegas. He was found in the desert, in a barrel. Somebody had went to hacking on him. Now they have a suspect. They have, they had two suspects, really. Ryan Bentley, Angelica Hudson. Now, for whatever reason, it looks like the grand jury failed to come back with a true bill. They had charged them in the grand jury. They had sent it to the grand jury with open murder, conspiracy to commit murder, conspiracy to commit first degree kidnapping and kidnapping. That fell through. So now he's being held in Clark County Detention Center with no bail for open murder and conspiracy to commit murder. Angelica Hudson, she's not being held there is no case against her. Take that for what it is, I'm not sure. And now police are stating that they have all of this evidence. They went, they got search warrants for his phone, saw his text messages, saw his Facebook messenger, all types of things were being said, reckless, super reckless things on his behalf, and it got him arrested. What they are saying is, Rene Enriquez Jr., he was arrested. He was arrested, they raided his house, the feds did twice. On the second raid, they found 119 grams of GoFast, like 18 grams of H, and like 50 grams of Fetty. So they were going to arrest him, but he faked a heart attack. Whether or not it was a real heart attack, I don't want to say, I don't, you know, I'm just saying. He had a medical emergency when this was all happening. They had to rush him to the hospital. They charged him, but basically he wasn't arrested and put in county. Now, because of this, everybody started talking. They said, how could he be raided? They find all of this. He had to have been snitching. There's no paperwork yet out there saying that the man did. I'm not going to put that on him, especially since he's on the upper room right now. I don't like to speak ill of the dead, especially, you know, it's just, it's bad juju. Police are basically stating that Renee Jr.'s girlfriend was jealous, saw him on the phone talking to like an ex-girlfriend or some other girl, put the word out saying, hey man, look, He's over there talking to detectives right now. I guess that's what popped it all off. This is all from the streets. Who really knows? We won't know until the case moves forward. It is moving forward. They're still charging Ryan Bentley with this crime. Now, according to police, Ryan Bentley brings Renee Enriquez Jr. over to his house, offers him a little gift package, tells him to smell this. He does. He passes out. It was Fetty, but he wakes up. He wakes up, tries to run out of the house, hit, gets to the garage. This is all according to police. This is allegedly Ryan Bentley pulls out that thing thing and sends Renee Enriquez Jr. to the upper room. Those gunshots were heard. Police were called. Allegedly, Ryan takes off. He takes off from the house. Police catch him down the road somewhere. He's got a little bit of illicit medicine in his pocket. He's arrested for that illicit medicine. He bails out of jail. He comes home. Old boy's still sitting there doing nothing in his garage. He says, hey, I got this 55 gallon drum. He gets his hacksaw, get to doing what I gotta do, pour some lye on him, put him in that barrel, call some people over, get them to help, drag that barrel on out of there. This is all according to the police. Now the police, it's up in the air what they know, what they don't know. Here's what we do know. Rene Enriquez Jr.'s father is Boxer Enriquez. That's already been proven. This is his only son. Boxer is the most well-known informant and highest ranking informant to come out of that one Mexican group over in California that's doing big things. This dude has literally risen to the top of that and then completely obliterated his entire reputation by testifying in like 40 some odd different cases to put his ex-brothers away. It's insane. Of course, they're going to want to go after this guy. Now, do I think that they had anything to do with this? No, the man was 39 years old. Enriquez Jr. was 39 years old. That means in, within 39 years, they could have done this. Why would they do it now, 40 years? Come on, it's not gonna happen like that. Now, of course, I'm sure that police are gonna look into everything. They're gonna say, hey man, look, no stones unturned. 
Whether or not Ryan Bentley had anything to do with this or he was just on some tweaker high saying that he did, you know, trying to boast and all this, that's for the courts and the police and that's, that's none of my business really. My business is telling stories. This story happens to be the death of the only son of the number one informant in America maybe. Michael Thompson, Rene Boxer, Enriquez. Those are the two. It's like these men have made professions out of snitching. They're professional snitches. Would it suck if his son got taken out because of who his father is and what his father did? Absolutely. That would be horrendous. For him to have the same name and run around Vegas, and I've heard little things here and there saying that he used to brag, oh, my dad's getting out, he's gonna come back, all this blah, blah, blah. Bro, if your dad is a notorious informant or snitch, go on, change your name, don't tell anybody about it because this type of stuff is going to make you a target. Then when something happens like the feds raid your house, you fake a heart attack and they don't arrest you, but they still charge you. Well, they're going to say, hey, like father, like son, write it off and send you to the upper room. And that looks like exactly what happened here. I can't find anybody in Las Vegas in the streets that knows Rene Enriquez Jr. that will say that that kid snitched or that will say that he was a bad person. Everybody says he was really great, he was awesome, nothing like his father. He was in, in the dope game. I mean, many of us were and are in Las Vegas, is kind of the thing. If he was my friend, I wouldn't go looking to send him up, but I just wouldn't fuck with him until I knew what was going on. That's just kind of how I rock though. I'm definitely not gonna invite him over to my house, do a bunch of craziness of what the police say that Bentley did. I mean, bro, you're doing too much. You're doing far too much when it comes to something like that. Now, however this all went down, it didn't go down with my group. I had somebody from our group tell me, hey, you know that kid. I said, no, I, I don't know him. They said, no, he's hung out with us before. Back in the day, 20 something years ago, you know this kid. If I do, I was probably high or on a mission or you know what I'm saying? Like I was wild back then. There are so many people that say, hey, Rick, how long time no see? And I look at them and I say, no time no see. What you talking about? I don't know you. No Nintendo, homie. I don't understand. But I have it on good authority that I've met this kid before. I mean, it's possible. I feel bad for him. I feel really bad for him. Like, can you imagine? Can you imagine your father did that and now all of a sudden you got that weight on your shoulders and you try to kind of go down the same road as him? I mean, geez, bro. Now with Angelica Houston. I mean, it shows that she was arrested. She's not showing up in county at all. She's not there. When I check her name in the courts, nothing's coming up. I don't know. It's not his girlfriend. I do know that. It's not Ryan Bentley's girlfriend. The, the news outlets, they all say, hey, Ryan Bentley and his girlfriend did Enriquez Jr. And no, that didn't happen like that at all. I'm not going to speak on Ryan Bentley because it's an open case. I'm just going to say what the police are saying he did. That's about as far as I'm going to go with that because I don't want to be involved in any of this craziness. It's wild. Them dudes are out there doing too much. This dude, I don't know. He wanted to make himself a name or what. He's, he's got a name now. He's got a name. That's for sure. If he goes to prison, nobody's going to come after him for what happened here. I can promise you that. Like I've told everybody in the past, look, Cali politics do not run about his yards. We don't allow it. The Southsiders do. But other than that, no, nah, bro. So there's no way a white man hits the yard for killing Boxer Enriquez's son. There's going to be no blowback on him at all in prison. That's assuming that they convict him. The damning thing is, hey, man, you shouldn't have text messaged all these people. And now it's probably going to cost you your life. You're probably going to get 20 years. If they come at him with a plea deal, cool. If somehow he comes around and says, hey man, look, I got some things I need to talk to y'all about, which I don't think is going to happen. Not many people go and do something like this and then all of a sudden turn and you know, rat everybody out. I mean, it just doesn't normally happen like that. It has in a few cases. Sammy the Bull, Powder, things like that, right? So I will be watching this case very closely. Everybody's getting it confused saying, oh, he was, he was indicted and they came back no bill on the first indictment. That's true. But now they've re-indicted just him, just Ryan Bentley. Angelica Hudson, she's not on it. If she didn't do it, she shouldn't be on it. I mean, that's just the way it is. 
One of your homeboys does something like that and then they call you and they're like, hey, I need your help. And then you go help them. And then they turn and they snitch on you. That's a cold game right there, bro. That's what he'd be doing to Angelica. We are definitely going to follow this one closely, but it is confirmed that is Boxer's son. And uh, somebody sent him to the upper room, hacked him up, put him in the desert in a barrel. That happened. Thank you for coming to Vegas Profile Stories. I appreciate each and every one of you. I hope you guys have an amazing day, and I'll see you next time. This is who I was, but it's definitely not who I am.